Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish, Move, Love, and today I'm coming at you with a upper body prenatal friendly push workout. That means we are hitting your three upper body push muscles, which are your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. We're going to hit all of them because they all work together, but we are going to split them up into circuits. So here's what your workout looks like. You have four circuits in today's workout. Each circuit has two exercises, and each circuit is dedicated to a muscle group. So we have a chest circuit, a shoulder circuit, and a tricep circuit. And circuit number four is a bonus cardio push and core push thrown in there if you so choose. All of it is 100% prenatal friendly. You get to take it at your pace and all you're gonna need is some dumbbells, okay? So all you, actually, you're just gonna need one single dumbbell for the workout. I have a single 20 pound, 15 pound, and 10 pound. So I can adjust and toggle between them as I need to. Okay, you're gonna do all the exercises today for 40 seconds on and then you'll have a 20 second transition between moves. Are you ready to knock out today's upper body push workout? Yes, it's mostly strength focused, okay? You get to totally take this at your pace and like I said, all pregnancy friendly, you take it at your pace. I should introduce you to Betty the Box. This is Betty, my box, she is my incline. You are gonna wanna have an incline option, whether that is a chair, a bench, a couch, use whatever you have available to you. We're gonna throw in some incline push-ups today and I'm also gonna use this to press my neck and shoulders and my back on for some chest presses, okay? So an awesome option is also a couch if you have one nearby. Let's go ahead and get warmed up so we can jump into our prenatal push workout. It's gonna round out around 25 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and start with our feet stacked underneath our hips and you're just gonna flap those arms. Just gonna open up the chest, the shoulders, flap those arms back and forth. Awesome, go for four, three, two, and one. Take those hands behind your back, interlace the knuckles, pull the knuckles away from the tailbone. Nice little chest expansion. Think about pulling those chest muscles apart as you slightly gaze up. Hold it here for three, two, oh, one. Now you're gonna take those arms, reach overhead, big reach. You're gonna pull down, push up. Pull down, push up. Think about pulling your elbows down to your hip pockets. Pull and press. Nice. Pull and press. You got it right here. Go for four. Awesome. Three and two and one. From here, you're going to turn to your bench or couch, and you're just going to grab on, slightly walk your feet away, and just find a nice forward fold position. I'm just gonna release all that tension in the neck and back. And then you're gonna open up through the lats right here, which is gonna give you good range of motion for your overhead press, which we're gonna do for our shoulders today. From here, you're simply gonna drop to your knees and you're actually gonna bring your elbows onto your bench and you're just gonna drop back and then let your elbows bend and your hands reach for the middle of your back. It's gonna open up the lats, which is gonna give you that range of motion. Also gonna give you a nice tricep stretch and I promise, our final circuit is triceps. It's a real burner. And we're gonna come back to this stretch at the end of the workout. So you can look forward to that. Nice. Awesome. From here, go ahead, take your hands down to the ground. Find a nice quad drooped position, okay? So we're just gonna drop the belly, lift the chin, couple cat cows, drop the belly, lift the chin, reverse it, tuck that spine towards the ceiling, say hello to baby, give your core a nice little squeeze. One more. Drop the belly, lift the chin, reverse it, give that core a nice little squeeze, say hi to baby. Nice, bring the big toes to touch, wide in the knees. Just take a couple rocks, so push back to child's pose. Rock forward, a little push back, a little rock, a little push back, a little rock. Nice for three and two. Opening up the hips, nice work, last one. I'm gonna tuck my toes under, walk my hands back, and I'm gonna come up to a standing position. Nice work, you guys. From here, you're gonna find your box or your bench, okay? So I'm gonna find my box or my bench, place my hands on it. Right here, I'm gonna engage that core. I'm gonna go for shoulder taps. So opposite hand, opposite shoulder, tap it out. Keep that core nice and tight, you got it. Tap those shoulders for eight, seven. Keep those hips nice and square. Final five, four, three two and one. Give me two push-ups. If you're comfortable with it, you're going to go down, up, down, up. Go ahead, push up and back. Find an incline down dog. One more big stretch here. Big inhale, big open mouth exhale. Walk those feet in and you are ready to start this workout. We are going to jump right into circuit number one, which is all about the chest, the largest of our push muscles, okay? You're going to need one dumbbell and I'm going to go heavy. I have a 20 pounder. If I was at home, I'd maybe even reach for my 30 pound, okay? I'm gonna take that one dumbbell and I'm gonna hold it horizontally. I'm gonna find a seated position on my bench and then I'm gonna actually push back. So I'm gonna find my chest, or sorry, my shoulders are gonna rest on the bench. You can do this on a couch, like I said, I'm taking that one dumbbell and I'm gonna hold it, one head in each hand. I'm going to lower the hips and as I press the hips, I press the chest. So it's a hip thrust with a chest press. Hips and chest, okay? So we're gonna do that for 40 seconds. You'll get a 20 second rest. 
and then we're going to go into a single arm chest press. You can always rest your neck and shoulders on the bench if that's more comfortable for you. You can always keep those hips steady and omit the thrust with the hip. All right, 40 seconds, guys. You ready? We go in three, two, let's go. Lower the weight, push. Hips and glutes, chest and shoulders. Hips and glutes, chest and shoulders. There we go. Driving through the heels, driving through the arms, getting a little bit of lower body involved here. Nice, get it nice and warm. Good first move to start off with. 40 seconds per exercise. You'll get a 20 second break and then we'll keep moving. You're gonna do each circuit twice. You got it, right here. Push, nice, drive through those heels. Lift up, right here. Got 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. Make that weight nice and heavy. Nice, finish. Go five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, now I'm gonna take that dumbbell and transfer it just into my right hand. So just one hand, okay? So I'm just gonna use one hand right hand. I'm going to perform a single arm chest press just on the right, holding those hips nice and in line. My neck and shoulders are both going to rest on the bench. We go in five seconds. Single arm chest press in three, two, let's go. Push and lower. Push and lower. Think about keeping that weight right in line with my nipple. Nice. Chest is nice and puffed out. You always put that other arm up for counterbalance. Keep that core turned on. You could always use a stability ball. You could use an incline bench if that's more comfortable for you. You got it, nice work. We're only gonna do each arm once. Go heavy here, guys. Single arm chest press, let's go. Get into that big chest muscle. Get that nice stretch at the bottom. Big exhale push. Inhale down, exhale push. 10 seconds here, come on. Should start to feel heavy, it means you chose the right weight. You got it, let's go. Finish three, two, and one. I'm going to recover. I'm gonna come sit down right here. We're gonna repeat those same two moves, okay? So you're gonna do those two moves again. Hip thrust with the double press and then single arm press on just the left arm. Yes, let's knock it out. Let's finish off chest right here. Get those hips up. Get yourself set up with that one weight, holding each head in each hand. We go in three, two, let's go. Down and up, down and up. You got it, nice work. Chest and shoulders working together right here. Option to add those hips and glutes, totally optional. Like I said, you can always do this, just holding those hips steady. Inhale down, big exhale push. Inhale down, big exhale push. You got it. Nice work. Stay with it. Make sure those knees stay in line with your hips right here. 10 seconds, team, 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Let's go. Stay with it. Final five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to hold it high, transfer that weight just into the left hand, hips are gonna stay high. Single arm chest press, just on that left arm. You're gonna feel that core turn on to stabilize you, right? 10 seconds here, Whew. Those glutes are on fire too. Nice little extra added bonus today. Here we go, we go in three, two, let's go. Single arm chest press again. You can always put that other arm up for counterbalance. Inhale down, exhale push. Inhale down, exhale push. You got it. Focusing just on one arm at a time. I like it, it allows me to go a little bit heavier. Allows me to keep my core in check. I can always put that other hand on my core. Make sure my core stays in check. Right here, finish off circuit one, which is all about the chest. Let's finish off that chest. Then we're gonna go to a fun little cardio core push where we're gonna get a little bit more chest in there if you choose. 10 seconds here, guys. Come on, stay with this. You got it. Last four, three, two, and one, gently set yourself down, roll over and get off that ground however you need to. Your second circuit, okay, is cardio and core, okay, and it's just body weight. So a couple fun moves for you here. You got one move and then a 20 second burnout. So one move for 40 seconds, 20 second burnout, quick rest, repeat it. Okay, so your first move is an incline push up. Okay, so we're gonna stay after that chest, shoulder, tricep, all working together. One incline push up. One step up, knee drive. Step back, push up, step up left, drive right, step back. So I alternate that lead foot that steps in, knee drive, okay? So one incline push up, one step up, knee drive. A really fun, complex move. Opportunity to raise your heart rate. If you don't feel comfortable with the push up, just omit it and do the step ups, okay? Here we go, you guys, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds. You're gonna hold a plank and shoulder tap, just like we did in the warm up. 40 seconds here, 20 second shoulder tap. One minute straight of work, quick rest, repeat it. We go in three, two, 
Let's go. One push up, step right, drive left. Back, back, push up. Step left, drive right. Back, back, push up. Step right, drive left. There you go. Alternate that lead foot that's gonna step up, drive the knee. One incline push up, one knee drive. Nice. You got it. 40 seconds here. Your pace, your tempo. Come on. Opportunity to raise that heart rate. Throwing the big complex move here. We love push ups. Yes, we do. Taking it up to an incline takes some of that pressure off the core, right? Still gives me that good full range of motion. Nice. Four, three, hold that plank in two and one. Hold that plank. Shoulder taps. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. 20 seconds right here, guys. Come on, take a nice wide base with those feet. Again, that incline is going to take that pressure off that core. You got it. Stay with it right here. Come on, finish strong. Yes, you can. Go five, four, three, two, one. Quick push back, quick recover. Ready to get right back in? One push up, one step up, knee drive. 40 seconds. Starts in three, two, let's go. Push up, step up, knee drive. Come on, you got this. Push up, step up, knee drive. Nice. You're doing so good, guys. Come on. You're only gonna do it twice. This is your last time. This is your cardio and core push right here. And then we go on to shoulders. Yes, you can. So stinking strong. That's what you are today. Big, strong upper body. These are probably my most challenging upper body muscles. For me, my biggest weak point right here, push-ups. Trying to keep it strong throughout pregnancy. You got it. Go five, four, hold plank in three, two, hold that plank, shoulder tap, opposite hand, opposite shoulder, this is it, you get a break after this, we're going to go for that water, yes you can, keep working, you got ten, nine, eight, stay with it, seven, yes you can, come on, last five, four, three, two, and one, nice work, push it back, stretch it out, grab some water guys, awesome job. Two circuits down, two to go, okay? What we have left is shoulders and triceps. Shoulders and triceps. Nice work. Okay, shoulders. You're gonna need just one dumbbell, okay? You're gonna do, I'm gonna go for my 15 pound, right here. Again, I'm gonna hold each head of the dumbbell. Soft bend in the knees, shoulders down and back. I'm gonna lift up to shoulder height, bend, press overhead, reverse it, kick it out, lower it. So it's one front raise. One overhead press. One front raise, one overhead press. If you have two lighter weights, you could always go one in each hand, or you could go one heavier weight, okay? I'm gonna take this 15 pound. Shoulder raise, overhead press. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and I'll show you move two. Let's go in three, two, let's go. Lift up to shoulder height, bend, push overhead, down, straight out, lower with control. Lift, bend, push, reverse it, nice. Right here, lifting just right up to shoulder height. You got it. One weight. That core is actively gonna stay turned on right here. Soft bend in the knees. Come on. Halfway, shoulders, let's go. Get after those big, strong shoulders. Woo! I don't know what it is, but shoulders, I feel like are like one of those muscle groups for me that just goes on fire so stinking fast. Come on, finish it. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. I'm gonna drop down to a 10 pound weight. Like I said, my shoulders just feel like they're on fire. I'm gonna take that weight in my right hand. Palm is gonna face my face, and then I go out to an Arnold press. 40 seconds, single arm Arnold press. Gonna hit all heads of the shoulder with that rotation, okay? Bring that dumbbell up. Palm faces your face in three, two, let's go. Single arm press, lower with control right here. Whoo, nice work. Shoulders are on fire today, guys. Shoulders are on fire. Could always take that opposing hand to your core. Make sure your core stays turned on. You could always find a seated position right here and come to a seated position if you need a little bit more core assistance, if you start to feel this dip into your low back, okay? Woo! Ah, it burns. Yes, it does. Stay with it. 10 seconds, guys. Close those eyes, grit those teeth. Yes, you can. Come on, finish. Right here, you are so stinging strong for the last five, four, three, two, and recover. Oh, holy bananas. Why are shoulders so hard? Flap it out, flap it out. Repeat it, okay? Those are your same moves. We're gonna repeat those same moves, starting with that one 
front raise to overhead press, holding each head of the dumbbell right here. Lift straight up to shoulder height, bend and press. We go in three, two, let's go. Straight up, bend, push, lower, straighten. Nice work, come on, second time through these shoulders, guys. Finish it, finish it right here. You got this, so strong. Today is a strength day. I love prenatal strength training. I always say in pregnancy, the name of the game is strength. Strength training is the name of the game. Come on, do your best and forget the rest. Come on, yes you can. Whoo, that right shoulder is really on fire right here. You got this, 10 seconds team. 10 seconds, keep pushing right here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Roll those shoulders down and back, dropping down to my 10 pound for the single arm Arnold press just on the left arm this time, okay? Single arm Arnold press just on the left. Whew. Roll those shoulders out. Here we go, final set for the shoulders. Woo! All right, top bend in the knees, get that weight up, palm faces in in three, two, let's go, single arm press. Again, you can put that other arm out for counterbalance or maybe even give yourself a nice little core check right there. Make sure those deep transverse abdominals are engaged. Every exhale you take throughout this upper body workout is an opportunity to engage that core. Come on. Halfway, guys, halfway on this arm. Let's go, finish it. Come on, strong left arm. Yes, you can. Woo! Let's go, guys. Right here, push it up, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Stay in it. Finish strong, last five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work on those shoulders. Awesome work on those shoulders. Roll it out, I got a bonus move for you. Are you ready? Here we go. You're gonna do 20 seconds per side. I'm gonna take this weight, I'm gonna shoot it straight overhead, and I'm gonna march in place. Right here, I'm gonna keep that core turned on. All right, actually, I'm gonna do 20 seconds on this side, and then we're gonna transition right into 20 seconds on the other side. So it's 40 seconds total. Yes? Take that dumbbell in the right hand. Shoot it straight overhead. You are marching. And three, two, let's go. March and march. You got it. March and march. Nice. We're gonna just gonna do 20 seconds per arm. Little shoulder burnout, little core activation. Yes, other arms out for counterbalance. 10 seconds here. Switching side, guys. You got it. Let's finish it. Switch sides. In three, two, let's switch that side. Here we go. Come on, 20 seconds, march it out. Nice work, right there. Get those knees up right in line with those hips. For 10, nine, eight, you got it. Seven, yes you can. Six, five, four, three, two, recover. Nice work, take it down. Go ahead, roll those shoulders out. Grab a quick sip of water. That is our shoulder circuit. You got one circuit left and it is triceps. Triceps, all right? Here we go. Your first move is a seated overhead tricep, okay? So I'm gonna come to my bench. I'll go like this so I can slightly still face you. Sit on the corner of my bench. Shoulders are rolled down and back. I'm gonna sit up right here. Bend, extend, bend, extend. That's my first move. And then we're gonna go into a kneeling plyometric tricep push-up. I know, holy bananas. Yes, you can. We're gonna finish off tricep strong, okay? 40 seconds. Sit it on my bench. Gonna give me nice control of my core as I bring that weight overhead. We go in three, two, let's go. Bend, extend. If I'm looking in a mirror, I'm thinking, hide the dumbbell, show it. Hide it and show it. You got it. Sitting up nice and tall. Even though I'm sitting, I'm still keeping that core active, yes? Remember, every exhale, opportunity to work those deep transverse abdominals. We want to keep nice and strong throughout pregnancy. You got it, guys. Come on, use those triceps, back of the arm. Three-headed muscle has the capacity to be bigger than your biceps. Let's make it happen. Come on, you got this. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, dumbbell's gonna go down. I'm gonna come back to push-ups, but I'm gonna drop to my knees because it's triceps. So shoulders are stacked directly over wrists. Elbows are gonna graze my rib cage. Option A, you're gonna give me kneeling tricep push-ups here. You're just gonna burn it out. Option B, a little push off the box. A little push off the box, make it explosive. I'm gonna make it explosive. We go in three, two, one. Why do I like exercises like this? Because I'm working not only my triceps, that's the focus, but man, I'm also hitting that chest and shoulders too, right? We like to work multiple muscle groups at once. 
Nice work. Come on, come on. Again, you don't have to have it explosive. You can always just go down up, tricep push up. Keep it nice and tight, nice and narrow. Elbows are gonna graze that rib cage. Option, down up, woo! Come on, add that powerful push off that box. If you can, you got this, guys. Feel that burn, feel that fire. Come on, stay with me. Yes, you can. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, awesome job. Let's go, one more round through triceps and you are out of here, okay? One more round. Overhead triceps from a seated position. Tricep push-ups, add the power or don't. This is it, last round. This and you get to come back to that awesome tricep stretch, yes? Let's go, three, two, let's go. Come on, bend, extend. Make it happen right here. Yes, you got this. Chest, shoulders, and triceps. Upper body strength training, all done in a pregnancy safe way. Keep you strong and active throughout your pregnancy. You are crushing this, mama. Come on, starting to feel that muscle fatigue set in. Woo, 20 seconds, guys, halfway. Oh my goodness, keep those elbows tight. It's getting tough, it's getting challenging. That's where we wanna be. Keep building strength, yes? 10 seconds, you got it, stay with me. Come on, you are so strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, holy bananas. Those triceps are on fire, woo. Arms are feeling super pumped up and we got one final move for the finish. It is your kneeling tricep push-up. Option A, keep your hands on the bench. Option B, give me that little powerful push-off. You decide. Let's go, last move. Three, two, let's go, let's go. Down, up, come on. Yes, you can. 40 seconds right here. This is the big finish, guys. Big finish. Let's go. Chest, shoulders, triceps, all working together here in that final burnout. Make it happen. Keep those elbows tight. Lead with the chest. Come on, come on. You got this. Push-ups are hard, but you are strong. You are so stinking strong right here. Yes, you can. Stay with me for the last 10. Nine, eight, you got this. Seven, stay with it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, you did it. Nice work, you guys. Let's stretch out those arms. I don't know about you, but mine are feeling awfully pumped up right here. So we're gonna put those hands on the bench. Knees walk away, and you just sit the hips back, stretch through the arms. Just let it all hang heavy. Open up that chest, hit the shoulders, release that tension in the low back. So stinking proud of you for powering through this upper body workout. Way to go, guys. Nice, now I'm gonna walk those knees a little bit closer and bring my elbows onto the bench. Remember that tricep stretch we did? Right here, sit the hips back, hands just reach and fall for the middle of the back. Oh, that feels so good after those overhead tricep extensions. So good, nice work, you guys. Big inhale through the nose. Big open mouth exhale. Let's do it again. Big inhale through the nose. Big open mouth exhale. Awesome job, so stinking proud of you. All right, from here, you are gonna come up to a seated position. Put your booty on your bench. I'll go ahead and face you kind of. All right, we're gonna do a couple neck stretches since those shoulders tend to creep up in those shoulder exercises. So just take your neck, roll it side to side. Nice. Hold right ear to right shoulder. Take that right hand, just gently set it on top of your head. And then you can take that left hand and just let it drop and let it hang heavy and create length from ear to shoulder. Or you can take that left hand and reach it around for the middle of the back. Palm's gonna face out. You're opening up the traps right here. Okay, traps, ears, neck, shoulders. Just let it all open up, stretch through that neck. For three, two, and one. Go ahead, roll it side to side. Same thing, left ear to left shoulder. Hand comes to the top of the head. Option to just let that right arm hang heavy. Option to reach that right hand for the middle of the back and just create some length right there for the neck, for the shoulders. Open up all that tension in your traps. Awesome job. I am so stinking proud of you. Final stretch right here. You're gonna take your hands on your bench. Fingertips are gonna face your butt, okay? And I'm just gonna do a reverse tabletop. So I'm gonna spread my chest apart, open up through the chest, shoulders. This should feel really good after this workout. Big inhale here. Big exhale, sit that booty back. So stinking proud of you. If you like this workout, please go ahead, drop us a subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you check out more of our workouts. We have free prenatal and pregnancy programs, 30 day workout plans. We have hit workout strength training bar, you name it. You can find it all at nourishmovelove.com. Have a great day.